Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day 13, the late and fig edition of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is mystery. Now, given the financial situation that Loot Crate is in lately, I thought it'd be a good time as any to talk about a lost art within tabletop communities, at least in my opinion, and that is box set RPGs. This one little box that contain, that's supposed to contain the base setup for, for getting yourself started. And while these were very much a fixture back in the day, they are much and much less so in the advent of PDFs being the main way that people get their games out there. I do think there is still room for that kind of thing, and that's also why one of the... Uh, more proud possessions I have in my RPG library is the box set for Dragonlance 5th Age. I unfortunately lost the Marvel Adventure game box set. But with these sort of things, you'll be in there. And granted, not every box set is going to be all that good. I do distinctly remember looking through the first edition Call of Cthulhu, and, well, you know how I tend to, re tend to play a lot of games that are fairly recent? Yeah, there's a reason. A lot of the older games, or a lot of the older editions of games, don't always hold up with age. Sometimes they might get retro-cloned, but in a lot of cases, less so. I do think that this is something that should come back in some form, except I'd rather it be done to see it be used for full-on modules. I know D&D 5th Edition has tried their hand at the whole module thing, but in my not-so-humble opinion, they went off half-cocked. Putting aside the fact that the majority of the modules out there are doing the high fantasy shit, except for Ravnica, and even then that's more of a bandage than anything else, I want to see primers and gazettes in these sort of box sets, along with maps. I think there is still way too much potential for that kind of thing. And I think the only comp I think the last company that some degree got it right was Green Ronin with the three box sets for the Dragon Age RPG. Although later on they collected them into their own books, so bully on that. But these would be a would be a great way to help expand the hobby at con at conventions and at LGSs. We already have plenty of games getting demoed for free RPG Day, so why not take advantage of this new and fascinating opportunity that's given with this? I know that's a bit of a stretch to use mystery when it comes to this, but I distinctly remember finding a box set at a Half Price Books a long time ago called Shatter Zone. Now granted, when I ended up getting the thing and I saw that it was using both dice and cards, I became more and more intrigued. I didn't realize until after I started going some covers that I found when I was researching the re-up version of Star Wars D6. I'm not saying this would be an easy endeavor, but it's an endeavor that I think is possible. 